Welcome to Reddit time. For today, we got three stories about rude entitled parents. Hope you all enjoy. Our first story is by Freck Minister. Entitled parent tries to steal my wheelchair? A bit of backstory. I'm only 21, and I have a muscle disability called hypermobility syndrome, a type of EDS. Hello zebras. This means my muscles hate working properly, and I dislocate joints super easily. I can usually just pop them back in, but it depends which joint. Me and my family went to a light show in a woodland a few weeks ago. The area is loads of hills so is ridiculously hard to manage walking, let alone in a manual wheelchair. My granddad is also in a wheelchair due to M. S. So two of us went around the walk in a golf buggy type thing to see the lights. We even picked up this adorable old woman on the way, who was struggling doing the hills. When we finished the route, we were dropped at the cafe, where they had stored our wheelchairs, while we went around. Without asking, they pulled me out of the buggy into my chair, and started wheeling me. I asked them to let me go, so I could have a cigarette, and I can push myself. They took my granddad in, and said they would put him at a table in the warm while I smoke. After I finished, I went to wheel myself in and there weren't any wheels. I stood up on my crutches, which I use like 80%, when I'm strong enough to, and realized it wasn't my chair. I went inside to find the guy who took my chair in the first place and asked him. He was adamant it was my chair, even though it had the company logo on it, and was definitely one of their rentals. Across the room I see they've just dumped my granddad in his chair between two tables blocking a walkway. And next to him at a table, an older lady may be in her 70s and a woman in her 40s also, in my wheelchair. Hello entitled parent and entitled kid. My family finish the walk about a minute after, and I get my nan to come over with me, since it was my granddad's backup chair, before it was mine, so she knew for sure it was my chair. We brought the guy over to who, after I pointed it out, realized I was right and apologized. Me, hello, I'm sorry to interrupt, but there's been a mistake. The cafe accidentally gave you my wheelchair, and not one of the company ones. I have another chair here, if you don't mind just swapping, so we can get going. Entitled parent, looking at me, like I'm insane no, the cafe gave us this chair. This is our chair, you can borrow another one. Nan, my granddaughter is right, this is her chair. I can even show you where some bits are damaged and broken to prove it's ours. Employee, I'm sorry ma'am, but these customers are right. We gave you the wrong chair so, if you don't mind just swapping to this one cafe chair then these people can head home. Entitled kid, I need this chair. That one doesn't have wheels to wheel myself. And that girl is on crutches anyway, why does she need a wheelchair? Nan, starting to get pissed, starts pointing out all the damaged bits she can use crutches for a short time, but needs the chair back. See, over here there's a scratch and a dent. Over there blah blah blah. Entitled parent, my daughter needs the chair. Your granddaughter doesn't. We'll be leaving in about 30 minutes, and if you're that desperate, once we've got her in the car you can take this one after. For now, just put her in the other staff one. Me, but that's my chair. We're leaving now to go home and that's my wheelchair. Entitled parent, no it's not, the cafe gave it to us. It's their chair, not yours. This continued for about 10 minutes before my mum, brother, aunt, and uncle came over to see why it was taking so long. The woman was shouting and swearing, and her daughter was deliberately holding the wheels with a death grip to prove she wasn't moving. My aunt, excuse me, that's my niece's wheelchair. Would you mind just swapping to this one? Entitled parent, really? Getting your whole family to gang up on an old woman and her disabled daughter. I can report you to the police for verbally abusing us and trying to take my daughter out of her chair. Uncle, if you don't give back my niece's wheelchair, I will personally take you in for stolen property opens his jacket to show his police badge. The entitled parent and entitled kid look panicked as they see his badge. 
here's a fucking kicker. The woman in her 40s immediately stands up no problem and takes her stuff off the chair before walking away with entitled parent. They didn't even take the offered wheelchair, just walked out. Some people. Our second story is posted by Majestic Lengthiness. Entitled mom tries to take my priority seat. Priority seats are for the disabled, elderly, expecting mothers and those with infants. That's what the sign on the train said and something important to remember. I was on the subway in Japan and you can tell by looking at me that I'm a disabled person. I use a custom made brace on my leg, a cane and a back brace. To put it simply, I'll be losing the ability to walk soon and I want to do as much as I can. After a day of sightseeing I get on a subway and see that there's priority seating still left. Seeing that there's no elders heading to it I sit down and god it felt good. Now I will be on this train for about an hour and I pulled out my phone to read. Entitled mom gets on at the next stop with a man, a stroller and a boy looking maybe 7. Seeing that she has to find up her stroller she looks annoyed, but seeing that there's no seats open she looks damn right pissed. One look at me I'm 25, and look it, she begins to scoff and say loudly. I thought there was priority seating in this train. Guess me and my child can't sit down. Would be nice to have priority seating available for mothers. Some look at her with clear confusion. But I don't get up, and neither do the elders. But she decides to move an inch or two closer to me, and demands I get up. I tell her firmly that priority seating covers disabilities too, and that just cause she has a child doesn't make her special. She tries to get people to sympathize with her, but no one is looking at her. When she tells me I'm not disabled, that I'm just fat, I opened up my brace enough to reveal the very large and bruising scar. She paled and as I got off the train I made sure her elderly man got my seat. Fuck you Karen. Our final story is posted by Hudgercock. You are so greedy for not giving our child your food. A little preface, I think at this point, I could tell a bunch of stories about my entitled parents roommates and their kid. Ultimately, I don't think the kid is that bad. He does have behavioral problems, but his parents very poorly handle them. Even though he is 9 years old, his adopted mother argues with him constantly and has since he was a toddler. They also refuse to take responsibility for anything he does slash breaks. Unless it is something of this. I'm pretty sure their kid is one of the reasons I put up with their shit in particular. However, their bad habits and an overwhelming sense of entitlement are turning him into a spoiled brat. They also receive government assistance slash EBT. I do not. By no means. So I add this to be disparaging. So much as to point out they have a much larger food budget. They not only use CBT, but cash. Anyway, last night, we both ordered pizzas. We paid for all our own orders. I figured I would order a large pizza for myself. I had just gotten back from a trip, and I still haven't done any adequate grocery shopping, so I figure one large pizza will last my broke ass a few days slash until payday. I won't have to go grocery shopping or waste money on even more takeout. They ordered the same. There are three of them, one of me. They also have a bunch of snacks and a decently stocked pantry slash fridge. I had a box of cereal, a Brita pitcher full of water, and some crackers, which, by the way, they went through slash ate half of because the mom slash entitled mom is diabetic and needs to snack. Her reasoning, not mine. Not surprisingly, the three of them dusted off their pizza that night. I only had two pieces, then another piece for breakfast before work. I come home for them to tell me they gave their kid some of my pizza because he was hungry and didn't want to eat anything else. I confronted the father slash husband about this, who only thought to tell me while talking about just how much their son ate. He was surprised I was upset because I had a whole pizza and I really wasn't going to eat it all by myself. It happened while I was at work, so I couldn't really do anything. Tonight, he refused to eat dinner 
save for a baked potato, and he was still hungry. He then proceeded to shoot down the numerous suggestions on what else to eat, including their dinner once again. He then proceeded to announce he wanted pizza. I wasn't even eating pizza at the time. Another thing they like to do is get mad at me for eating better food that their kid likes anywhere where he can see. He asks me for pizza. I straight up tell him, no, that's my dinner. You already took a piece without permission. He proceeds to throw a tantrum. To me, then his parents, who then approach me. Entitled dad, entitled mom, me and entitled kid should be pretty self-explanatory. Entitled dad, hey, can entitled kid have some pizza? He's really hungry. Me, I already told him no. I don't have anything else to eat besides that pizza, and you already gave him one without even texting me to ask. Entitled dad, well, he doesn't want to eat anything else, and it's just sitting there in the fridge. Me, where else is it supposed to be? Entitled mom, to entitled kid, you know, you have chicken, mac and cheese, cereal, cookies, ice cream. Entitled kid, no, I want pizza. Entitled dad, come on, you don't need that whole pizza. Me, it's my pizza. Entitled dad, come on. Entitled kid, she doesn't want to give you pizza. She's being greedy, and she's going to scarf down a whole pizza by herself. I left it at that, they left it at that. But regardless, I was surprised by how he acted, like I was the bad guy for not bending to their whims. Especially given they have one hell of a habit of stealing my food, and right after Christmas, I was helping, buy them food slash stuff like milk and bread, that they never paid me back for, and I'm the greedy one. Wow. You made it to the end, you are ducking amazing. I'm going to cut you a deal. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and comment your story. We will feature it in the next video. Bye for now.